Brian Kenny, of course, is uh, part of the crew. He's going to join us next, and he says hello. Brian wants to do a little Buster Posey today, playing very well for San Francisco. Uh, you know, in sort of you know, sort of very f smart decision making as far as when he plays, uh, you know, how much he plays, not to wear him out, and so far so good. Brian, welcome. How are you today, pal? What do you have for me? Good, me doggy. Uh, you know, it's funny. Dave Valley's on the show today on MLB Now coming up, and we do top ten right now each year, and we haven't had Posey in the, in the, involved in a while. Uh, seemingly he was number one obviously for a long time maybe six seven years in a row and the last couple of years though he's not even in the top 10 and right now I didn't see this coming dog I mean I thought the bad hip the surgery everything then he took the year off um, he's the best hitter in the National League at bat for at bat you know he's not qualified he doesn't have enough plate appearances but he's number one so it, it's funny in the offseason I did an essay because if I asked you is Buster Posey a Hall of Famer what would you say Oh, definitely not. Uh, I mean, definitely I just not? went to go look. He's had four. Really? No, definitely not. And I'm a giant. Wow. He won a rookie of the year in the MVP, and he's won championships. He is not a, he's not a, he's not a Hall of Famer. Not yet. Now, again, if you're going to tell me here that the next three or four years he's going to have great production, uh, you know, he's had four very good seasons is what he's had. He's got 303 lifetime batting average. I understand that. But he's had four very good seasons. I like to think you need more than four to get in the Hall of Fame. Uh, that's not a lot of years. Now, you, no, you give me three or four more years years mm -hmm. where he hits you know 300 and hits 20 homers and knocks in 80 85 runs and plays the majority of game behind the majority of the year behind the plate well then we can have a conversation but right now after four years go look at it you're going to have trouble finding more than four don't count 2010 you're going to have trouble counting more than four years that's just not enough to put a guy like that in the hall of fame that's not fair now molina is a hall of famer his durability on, right, his, stay on one uh, thing Don't longevity stay on one thing he's a hall of famer stay on. now Posey, you surprised me there because you always talk about, has the guy won an MVP? This guy has. Has the guy won championships? Yes, This he guy has. was the best player on three World Series championship three. teams. The, of that group, he is far and away the most valuable player for that run. Best position player and even the most valuable, even counting Madison Bumgarner. Although, you know, Bumgarner obviously was great. But you, you're right in that traditionally he didn't have the bulk to be a Hall of Famer, which surprised me when I was looking at it because I thought, you know, to my gut, you know, I'm, I do all this analysis, but in my gut, I thought, yeah, Buster Posey's a Hall of Fame player. Of course he is. But he, he, you're right. He didn't have the volume. So this push now that he has, if he comes back and he's good to great, he now puts himself into Hall of Fame consideration, which should be. Yeah, I mean, the player, you know, he was hey, a great player yeah. at his best. He was a great player. Not a good player, a great player. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was a great player for a two- or three-year period there. He was, he was the best player in the league. Now, a little more said. than that. Two or little three years, that. he was a great player. So you're not a peak Hall of Fame guy. He wasn't. See, to me, Posey, it, Dale Murphy, Don Mattingly, the more I think of uh, Oral Hershiser, the more I dig into this, the more I examine it, the more I would rather – start rewarding the great player. Oh, where's his eight to 10 years? What if it's four to five years where he was the best player in his league? That means something. I think you have to. I think you have to have a number, though, Brian. It can't be four years. I mean, part of greatness is longevity. Part of greatness yeah, but is being out there. Day See, now you just said that because you're, you're used to it's saying it. What years. if it's not? Come on. What if it's not? What if, like Don Mattingly, for a four-year period, was the best player in the American League? Right? There's no question. Yes, he was. Uh, uh, Dale, Mur Mattingly. Dale Murphy for five or six. Five or six years, Dale Murphy, yes. best player in the National League. I don't know. Do you need to be um, one of the top ten for yeah, ten years? I'd rather be number one for three years. I think that's better. Well, again, I, I think what you can do is I think you can be great for four or five years and be pretty good the next five or six and get in. Mm -hmm. But you can't be great for four years and fall off the map. I mean, and some of these guys that you bring up have fallen off the map. I mean, Posey's done nothing. I mean, oh, but so I though he's been a very, very good giant, and he, like you said, championships in those three or four years are excellent. You got to sustain it a little bit for crying out loud. I mean, you got to have more than four years to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. If you this is not the NFL where you got injuries. Mm -hmm. This is not a, 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 a case like Koufax, who was so good and had arm issues. It's a little different. You got to have more of the years than four years. Well, you, there. Up, you, look, you know, come on, I'm Koufax. You, you know more than Koufax, more than, year than four years. That's not fair. Koufax, not Dizzy fair. Dean, Jim Rice, they're already that type of guy because Rice was good for a while, but he was great for a short period. I, I'm leaning more and more dog as I study this to the guys who were great for a short period. And Posey, you know who else is like a peak Hall of Famer playing right now but probably doesn't have enough? Andrew McCutcheon. 
McCutcheon was also a great oh, player. On. He was a great player. Wasn't he good? McCutcheon. He was a great player. He was the best player in the National League oh, for like three come years. Come on, no, he wasn't great. Yeah. No, it, oh. uh, he was very good. Great is a little great. You're missing. Andrew McCutcheon's yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Uh, come on, Bry. Uh, no, he's not. That's not fair. You don't think I McCutcheon mean, was the best nice player career. in the National League at and any point? And he was point? a good pirate. And he was a good. And he was a good pirate. And for three or four years, he was a heck of a player, one of the better players in the league. No argument. The best but, player. I mean, hold on. How he's are you the best sit player there? Hold on now. What, what, what are you going to sit there and tell me that he's Willie Mays? Isn't the Hall of Fame supposed <laughs> you know, to be about Willie no, Mays? If it's about Willie Mays, then, then there's five guys in the Hall of Fame. Is Willie Mays, is Babe well, Ruth, Hannes Wagner, that's and that's it. No, no, and there's a couple hundred guys in the Hall of Fame. Stop trying to put everybody in a Hall of Fame because you want to have a weekend. I mean, the bottom <laughs> line is you need to be great. Great. All Dog. right, Willie Mays is super nice. I get that. I you need to be a great player. <laughs> Andrew McCutcheon's a great player. Was it? Yes. You, you, yes. Do you hit the pillow at night telling everybody that Andrew McCutcheon's a great player? Well, not normally, not but I career. could if I, if I you know, wanted to, but more do it on oh, the show talking on. to you. All right, Doug, Grace. we got to go. We're going to start. Doug, good I'll chat with you. I'll see you later. We'll take you up there. We'll have a good weekend. We'll go I fishing on uh, Lake Otsego. It'll be a lot of fun.